Okay, I'm gonna be adding coolant to this 2013 Nissan Rogue. And what I'm gonna be putting in, into it is some Peak Original Technology. And as I went down the list here, I found Nissan 2009 and up. So this is what I'll be using. So to get started, first I'm going to have to, of course, pop the latch for the hood here. So I need to get inside the car. Down under here is the release hood tab right there. And then from there, right under here, there's a little lever right there that you push it to the left. And then you can lift up the hood here. And then you have, oh, sorry, it's all shaky. You have your hood up and you can use your hood brace right here inserts into the hole and how this function works is you push that over and it releases your hood so then i come in over here and i look at my coolant reservoir and Minimum and maximum. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but maximum's at this line here. Minimum's a little line way down here at the bottom. Um, the tip of my finger's touching it right there. And I'm a little under minimum, so I'm going to fill it up. Probably closer to maximum. Alright, so I'm going to open... The sub of the coolant here has a nice little seal on the top of it. I'm just gonna put a little I'm just gonna put a little hole in it. Cause I'm not gonna be adding too much and that way I can just hopefully close it back up with that a little bit. Just as long as I don't try to pour it too fast, it should allow air to get into We'll find out. I might have to poke a hole up here an air hole to allow the fluid to come out easier so I'm just gonna pop that open a little bit and I have, of course have a funnel set that right there open my refrigerant or coolant reservoir how this pours out with that little tiny itty bitty hole I put in it. Hopefully, ah. Looks like I'll have to clean up a little bit of stuff. I guess I should have poked a better hole in it. Because this is going to take me forever. This one's 50-50 pre-diluted. Check the levels. Woo. I'm gonna have to be cleaning all that up. I am at the minimum line now. And there goes another mess. So as you see, I'm making a mess doing it this way, so it might be easier to pour it without the small cut in it. And it's filling up, it's Getting about halfway between minimum and maximum. And I think I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it halfway for now. See what happens. And I made a mess. I got antifreeze to clean up. So I'm gonna go grab some cleaning tools or paper towels. See. I made a huge mess. Look at that. Don't want the any animals to 
get a hold of that stuff. It's, uh, yeah. So I'd probably open the container better than I did because that started just pouring funny. Pouring out the liquids funny, so I'm gonna go get some paper towels. All right, now I have my paper towels. Got some on top of the camera even. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's making a mess or breaking something. Open times I have broken things on the car that I have been working on. There we go. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's making messes. Mine as well, right? Make a mess. Why not? Alright. So now you can probably see it on the on the camera now. How much more fluid is in there? Where that dark line is. Oh, there we go. There's a better angle at the minimum line and the maximum line up there. Oh actually I didn't even there's actually a little one under that part, it looks like. Yeah, right there. Couldn't see that before, so I got the camera down there. There's the maximum line right there. The minimum line you can see better now. So I'll leave it there for now, see how it does. And thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a good one.